Signs of beaver damage to the willows and cottonwoods of the Rio Grande Nature Center State Park have been increasing in recent years. As the Nature Center name implies, this place fosters wildlife and all of its diversity. But the beavers were proving themselves too successful at the expense of other wild things and plant life. They're fascinating creatures and we're all very interested in them and we want them to do well. Um, but they were just kind of decimating this area, so we needed to get them out of here. You know, you can see all the willows around the around the different, you know, the state park right here. And uh, beavers chew the willows down, which, you know, the willows provide habitat for birds who, you know, in turn draw the bird watchers, which is the mainstay of this park. This is actually a man-made problem. The Rio Grande initially had regular floods, which spawned an abundance of new cottonwood and willow growth. Dams built by man, not beavers, now control that flooding and limit new growth. And these ponds at the Nature Center are man-made with plastic liners the beavers can damage. The beavers eat a lot of vegetation and we were realizing that the density of beaver population was too great for this artificial um, situation with the the plastic lined ponds. The lifestyle of the beaver, they like to, they're mostly active at, at night. Um, they like to hang around in the water, of course, and they eat bark. And surrounded by urban development, these beavers have few, if any, natural predators. To save the habitat, the beavers would have to move or die. The Nature Center opted for live trapping with help from the Department of Game and Fish. The bait in these traps is tasty twigs of willow with a side order of beaver scent. Well, let's do it. The trap is set next to an obvious path from the pond, quickly tested. Beavers come in, they check in, but they don't check out. And left for weeks. Each morning and night, Nature Center staff checks the trap, and eventually, they had success. Over a period of months, um, we've been able to trap two beavers and move them. And the plan is to move the whole family um, because they are social animals. She has seen as many as six beavers at one time. They actually caught a third lactating female, but released her to feed her young. Catching the critters is only the first part of the relocation challenge, of course. With the help of wildlife rescue, they are placed in large holding cells and carefully cared for until it is time for the big move. The agency teamwork to relocate these animals grows even larger here, as the U.S. Forest Service has located land that is near perfect for a family of beavers. In the San Mateo Mountains near Magdalena, there is a quarter acre pond in a canyon where beavers once thrived. The pond is fed by spring snowmelt and summer storms, two events that can be brief and cause rapid water flow. Beavers build blockades in waterways so their work here would be welcome. If we've got beavers in here, their impoundments will actually help slow that water velocity down, which will reduce erosion. They'll also retain that water on site, which will help saturate the surrounding area and uh, you know other than just stopping the erosion it'll serve the increase of vegetative community around it and it'll also allow that water to release more slowly as it percolates through the soil so we can actually prolong the stream flow more. Upon arrival the newest resident of the mountain pond is a bit reluctant to leave the comfort of the cage. Come on, come on. It's just nice and dark in there. But he eventually steps out into the sunshine, tests the water, and finds it suitable for a swim. Just kind of check things out, uh, check out the vegetation. It's obvious you know, there's another beaver in here, so he was kind of sniffing around. You could tell he was smelling the other beaver here also. Uh, you know, just made a couple circuits of the pond, uh, probably cooling off a little bit after being moved here. You know, the beaver was exploring everywhere and, you know, immediately started nibbling on a tree and, you know, seemed, uh, comfortable. The Forest Service actually hopes to develop large beaver populations in this area that will spread to adjacent canyons in need of some of their architectural work. While the setting is good, it's not perfect, at least not if you ask the beavers, since it includes predators like mountain lions, bears, and coyotes. 